At the beginning of this week, I'm going to talk about opportunities for new good. And also, I want to talk about how, in the human spirit, we're often reluctant to go towards the opportunity for new good. I had a man one time that hated his job, and he was offered a new job, and in a uh, a moment of impulse, he took the new job, and then he became paralyzed with fear. All he could think about is holding on to what was yesterday. I've had uh, women in the past, two different women that come to mind, that owned homes, and the homes literally were falling down around them where one time, maybe 20, 30 years ago, it was a good home, but it needed foundation repair, roof repair, new windows. And uh, when I would suggest putting the home on the market and selling it, they held on dearly. They didn't want to let go of what they knew. Well, when they finally did, they found out that it was a blessing, an incredible blessing of new good in their lives. For each of us, there are different times in our life when we arrive at a turning point, a time of change. And we know within our hearts and minds that each is an opportunity to change our lives for the better. How do we know this? Because God is going ahead of us on our path. And God is letting us know that now is the time to take action. Now is the time to do our part. Whether these changes come in the form of making a move from one home to another, or beginning a new job, or even starting classes at a school where we may not know anyone, where we'll feel like a stranger in the beginning, we can know that God has guided us to this point in our lives and that each turning point, although unique, is a chance to experience new God good in our life. It says in Proverbs 3, Verses 5 and 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart, and God will make straight your path. We can meet turning points in our lives with new and great joy and an expectancy of good because we know that God is behind it. We know that new, wonderful opportunities await us.